That's no little guy, man. That's a bloodthirsty monster. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Selevath and we're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up the legend of Vox Machina. We're on episode 5. Yo, last episode was an unexpected one, honestly. I thought Vox Machina was going to have to deal with them being arrested and things like that, but they were able to talk themselves out of it and, you know, they got onto house arrest. There was something up with Uriel, you know, the compulsion that the, uh, the Briarwoods did on him is still kind of fresh there. So he was like really, really angry and they were confused about what was going on. So they're given the opportunity to at least try to um, prove their innocence. They, they addressed the whole Percy situation, you know, they talked to him, he tells them exactly what had happened. And he tells them that, you know, the Briarwoods were allies first to Whitestone and then ended up betraying them. So it was their it was their goal all along to kind of basically take it over. This was a very, very powerful episode for Pike, Keyleth, and Percy. Just because um, Keyleth, you know, we learned a little bit about her, that she can't go back to her, her home until she proves herself worthy, right? And then he also had Pike who was dealing with the, the loss of the Everlight, right? The, the goddess that was inside her pendant, that she apparently um, lost a connection with it, right? The Briarwoods kind of um, sick their dogs onto onto Vox Machina and things like that, and they were attacked by these like weird ghost wraith creature things. And you know, it was a very, very <laughs> scary battle. I can't lie. But it only pushed further for Vox Machina to say, F this, we're going to go fight the Briarwoods, we'll take the fight to them. But Pike kind of left Vox Machina because she's got to go on her own journey and try to figure out how to get the Everlight back. So I'm ex really excited for this next episode. So we're just going to get started with that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out the Patreon link for full uncut reactions of this show. And many other things i appreciate all the support that comes on there so if it's for you honestly check it out but um with that note we're gonna get started with the legend of box machina episode 5 fate's journey let's go Stop! Get back here! i like how these episodes just start off like in a, an extreme go? way always you see them like it's it's never a dull moment honestly <laughs> over here come up I'm thinking it's a backstory, maybe? Oh man, being bad is so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> what are they trying to do here, bro? These guys are trying to steal from this guy, bro. But it is entertaining. You can't steal from this guy. <laughs> Okay, I think I was mistaken. I thought that was a backstory, but I think they're just trying to prepare before they leave the city, you know? Uh, we weren't breaking in or anything, just, you know, sort of on the run. A uh, quick stop at your store on our way out of town. Man, you can't that bullshit this closed. guy, bro. Come on. Just... Yeah, he, he knows exactly how they are, man. <laughs> dagger, dagger, dagger. Wooden stake. Perfect. I'll take these enchanted arrows. And as much garlic as you can spare. We kind of pissed off a vampire. And our healer's out of commission. Mmm. Then may I suggest the addition of something special? Holy water. One of the only things truly known to stop a vampire. Mm. Well, that and direct sunlight. We will take all the holy water you've got. <laughs> You're that looking I, you know what? That actually makes sense, because I haven't seen Silas in the sunlight once, you know? But Delilah's not a vampire, so I wonder how they're going to be able to deal with her. By the way, I don't think I have to mention that we were never here. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> Need some help, love? <sighs> oh, cool. Thanks, Vax. Uh, <clears throat> wonder what we have. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That look that Vex well, had on friend, Vex had on her man? This going to run us? Vex, I think Vax hmm. and I don't know. <laughs> I just Oi, there for a second. Please stop that. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, is that what you're doing? I thought you were practicing your resting bitch face. <laughs> Excuse me. My bitch face? <laughs> this is a suicide mission to topple the necromantic murderers of my family. And for the record. I have a magnificent bitch face. <laughs> do you now? Yes, I do. 
This is some messed up shit. I mean, all I can make out is one word of Delilah's craptastic scribble. Something called a zipper twat. Uh, okay, yeah, actually, I think it's a ziggurat. Ziggurats were ancient structures used for contacting gods. Huh. Oh, please tell me you're not shitting in another cart. Aw, oh, he no misses wood. Pike, bro. It's he misses old. Pike, man. Dog. Hey, hey, hey. Pike is going to be fine. I know that. She's stronger than all of us. I'm more worried about us without her. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared too if I didn't have my um my cleric me too, with me to heal me. You know, cause I, like within like the last two battles that we had, if we didn't have Pike, somebody was gonna die. <sighs> this is the for I think these are the forests need that um that go into Absolutely Whitestone. Not. I think. We need to keep moving. If this, it makes Briarwoods sense that this would be back in Briarwoods right now. You know. Percy, stop. I'm not that tired. No, I mean stop the damn cart. Something's tracking us. Are we gonna see werewolves now? Cause I remember seeing werewolves in the book, and I was excited to see maybe werewolves in this. <laughs> Yo, this is so scary, man. I think it's definitely a werewolf. Yeah. Poor yeah. Puppers. <laughs> Are you hurt, little guy? <laughs> That's no little guy, man. That's a bloodthirsty monster. <laughs> nah, maybe not werewolves. Maybe something different. What the fuck are those? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm shocked, yo. These things are actually scary as shit, man. That's like a straight monstrosity. Oh my god, that's that's disgusting. That is disgusting, bro. This man was getting turned on by that shit. These things are definitely hell beasts or something. From all of her damn necromancy. This better be worth it. Thanks, Gilmore. Okay. That seemed to do the trick. I think they need like some type of magic to fight these things. Oh, okay, never mind. I was wondering why that thing was after Scanlan. It was after the book, not Scanlan. Scanlan was just a casualty. I don't know. I think he might have actually made it. Maybe. Rise! Yeah. <laughs> you can't. You can't kill Scanlan like that. Well, I mean, at least we still have our holy water. <laughs> really? The moment they say at least we still have it, then it drops. She got what she wanted. Those beasts, Again. bro. They'll they'll literally die for her, man. Excellent. We have a schedule to keep, but the residuum needs to be pure. Hmm. What are they trying to do here? Lord are they trying to lady, summon something? The dinner guest you requested. Yo, it's that ugly bastard, bro. Oh, <laughs> that split. short, ugly bastard. Welcome, friends. Supper first. Then you'll need to change into more formal huh? attire. You've been chosen for a very special event. <laughs> They're effing sacrifices, man. These poor people, bro. They were just peasants working on a farm and then they just said, Hey, do you want to come to dinner at Whitestone Castle? Sure, you are the dinner. <laughs> Whoops, a little too much. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. No worries. Yeah, no worries. It's a scroll I picked up from Broomsythe's cave. Just gotta figure out how to make it work. Okay. <clears throat> Nevosh Nevon Klume. This guy's about to summon a lightning bolt, man. <laughs> it makes you handsome. Oh, I like it. <clears throat> I like that even more. Nevosh Nevon Klumahon. <gasps> Whoa. Yep, now I'm confused and aroused. What did he turn did, 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 into? Did the hands off. <laughs> what the? How the this, fuck? This guy turned into a human this woman. Good. <laughs> oh, 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 woo. This forest reminds me of home a little. <laughs> Your home must be nice. It's beautiful and big and filled with a shari I'm supposed to lead someday. Is she an Ashari queen? Is Keyleth royalty? Because it said that she needs to lead them, right? Is she their queen? Hmm. I know you care about others. Or a princess. That's what makes a great leader. Kiki, I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, but even has a cute little pet name for her, man. Kiki. <laughs> I, I, I'm down with this still. Even though it's random and it came out of nowhere, I like this. Yes. How may I be of service? I... I was helping my friends battle a, a dark mage and she cracked my holy symbol and I haven't been able to connect or, or heal or do anything and now I think I'm cursed. Nah, she's overthinking I the know. hell out of this, man. I sound crazy. Whatever has happened to you, child, the Everlight accepts you as you are. How about, what's the strangest creature you've ever killed? I will return and I will find you! Bro, Tiger Man, bro. That was the strangest creature he ever faced. I think maybe the strangest kill I've ever had would be. Oh my god, bro. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, bro. That was so dark. Yo, that's an awesome kill, bro. That man ripped off his tongue with his own tongue. How about you, Percy? What's the worst monster you've ever faced? They're in Whitestone. And we'll all be facing them soon. Yo, Percy is so sad right now, man. I swear to God. <laughs> I keep thinking about when we left Singorn. Screw that place. And father. Whole thing nearly broke us. But it didn't. Because we stuck together. We didn't let ourselves get distracted by pretty things. You're imagining things, Stubby. No one will ever come between us. You know, sometimes courage is knowing there could be trouble and taking the chance anyway. So is stupidity. Nah, he's right though, man. He's like, sometimes you gotta take a chance for love, man. Sometimes. I wouldn't be able to sleep either. You saw all the names of the people he has to kill. Lady Briarwood and all of them. What's Whitestone like, Percy? Yes, what should we expect? It's beautiful. Lush. Orchards always in bloom. Thanks to the sun tree. Nah. It doesn't it doesn't look like that anymore, bro. I guarantee Whitestone looks desolate. Probably all the trees are dead. The symbol of the There's Dorolo's probably no ties sun anymore, city. man. Especially when you look at the forest. At here. least it used to be. Right here. Percy. What have they done? It used to be beautiful, man. And look what they did to this shit. They ruined it. I need to find Keeper Yenin. Who? A holy woman here. She'll know what's happened. No, there's no way that You're this sure person keeper her. Yenin is still alive, man. Yeah, she's there's alive. no way. They're, they're, they're big thing. They're, they're big thing. They're not safe here. Come on. Yo, they have giants or ogres or something? Or orcs? Either of the three is dangerous as heck, man. Percy? They killed them just to make a point.
point that if you come here, you're gonna die. I'm still reeling from that little ending over there. Uh, okay, that was a good episode. A little bit of adventure, I guess you can say, with us trying to go to Whitestone and things like that, going through this scary forest. Those creatures, I honestly thought they were werewolves when they came out. They weren't. <laughs> And they were actually hell creatures that look like something, I don't know, like some demonic like amalgamation of like a bunch of different creatures. So I don't know what the hell that thing was, but it was scary. Seeing seeing kind of like the uh, the blossoming relationship between um, Vax and Keyleth is kind of a bit interesting as well too. There wasn't really like um, a lot of hints that that was there beforehand, but you know what? I am all for it. I, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's a little bit good. I am excited because now they're finally in Whitestone and now they're finally about to go take on the Briarwoods, but that was very shocking seeing that last little bit over there. He, he said that Whitestone used to be a lush, beautiful place, used to be under a sun tree and things like that too. It made sense that the sun tree was gone since they are vampires and, and whatnot. Seeing, seeing them execute those people, just to show an example to Vox Machina to tell them, stay away, kind of, or like, that if you come, you're gonna die. That was actually so savage. I thought they were gonna kill them specifically for ritualistic purposes or something. But they just killed them for no reason, which was even worse. With that note, I will end the video hit here. I will see you guys around. Take care, peace out, and stay safe. Again, yeah, I, thank you guys so much for the support you give for these videos. Keep pushing me to keep doing them forward. But I will see you guys around. Bye.